You know you're getting a good deal on golf clubs when you don't actually ask what you're even buying. <laughs> Guys, this was supposed to go in the tip. Morning, how are you doing? Friday for myself. I'm not too sure when this video is going to come out. It'll come out on the weekend. Um, but we're going to go and pick up some golf clubs now. Um, uh, I got in very early. It had only been up four minutes. Hook, so it's about Basingstoke way. About 30 minutes away from myself. I'll show you the picture here. There was just one picture. Just golf clubs. Um, and the thing that struck me is just the amount of money this person would have spent just on the grips. Um, uh, and that's kind of what tied me in. I thought it would be an interesting little video. We'll go and buy these. I have no idea what I'm buying. I didn't even ask. I just said, I'll come and collect them. Give you the cash. Um, uh, and we're now here to go and collect them. So um, I think I've seen like a Cleveland label on one of the grips. So I think there's a Cleveland wedge in there. Um, uh, but honestly, the rest of it, I can see a bit of red maybe on the back of the irons, but I couldn't honestly tell you what it is um, because everything's basically been changed. But there's a lot of super stroke going on. And again, if someone's willing to put multi compounds and super stroke grips on it, they've got to at least be worth something. Anyway, that's my reasoning as well as I get a lot of deals that I don't really show you guys because I don't have time. Like I start filming the video and then it sells the next day or something comes up which I think is a better video. So again, I thought I would, why else could we look at this deal and we'll go and find the surprise of whatever this is. I'll show you some of the deals that have kind of been left um, uh, in the editing room um, and won't ever resurface. So it's a combination of some deals that are actually pretty good, um, but sadly they're already gone so we can't actually film with them. If you like this video, leave it a like, subscribe if you are new. Um, uh, let's go and see what I bought. Boys and girls, clubs acquired. I'm going to tell you the truth. I haven't actually taken these head covers off, so I have no idea what's underneath them. The gentleman, um, he's clearing out a shed for his friend, and his friend just said, skip them. Put them, take them down the tip, get rid of them, um, uh, and it goes to show how much stuff must go to landfill every year. I did a video on this about some pin clubs um, ages ago. We must literally fill the ground with so many golf clubs that beginners or um, starter golfers or even someone that just wants an old set of clubs that they used to love when they were younger must go in the ground and it's such a waste and a shame. Cleveland CG7 Tours. I don't think I've ever hit these before, but they do actually look really good um, uh, from above. Obviously, these Cleveland themselves, especially the irons, are actually quite reasonable. Um, don't go for a lot of money because they don't obviously get that much attention. Cleveland wedges, don't get me wrong, obviously do well. We have got one Cleveland wedge. I'm holding all of these with one hand. So what we're going to do, take them back to the sim. I'm going to take the head covers back at the sim. We can see a lovely little yes putter there. I mean, that's just delightful um, in itself. That's a bit of a win. There's our 40 pounds back there kind of um, in itself. And I haven't taken the head covers off so let's get back to the sim we'll show you the other deals that i've been missing uh show you the other little clips that i've got over the last week or so and um yeah see exactly what we've got okay back down here at lower hennick driving range we've got our um uh, our job lot of golf clubs unfortunately one of the head covers fell off the putter in the boot so i know which one this is as well but we'll get on to that in a minute as you can see here cleveland cg7 tour irons um i'll show you some ebay prices for what roughly these go for um uh, obviously i had no idea what it is and i'm really glad it's a full set so we've got a three to pitching wedge three iron at the top there all the way down to pitching wedge and these do look really good and clean to be fair in terms of look and it just goes to show realistically even the manufacturers um uh, nowadays to olden days i mean the head design again you tell me what that is do you know what i mean from the photo even if they took multiple photos it's so difficult to tell um, uh, one forged iron to another or another cavity back iron from another manufacturer. They're all so similar. And I imagine these will do very well. Um, uh, potentially a good budget option if you guys are looking for, let's say, more of a forged head. So you don't want like a Mizuno JPX 919 Tour or 21 Tour, whatever, because it's £700 for the set. Or you don't want like a P770. Mm, this is your option. £100. I don't know what they're selling for. I imagine £100 for a set because they're just one of a low branded, um, uh, not sought after brand. But again, three to pitch med. I mean, a £10 a club, let's say. You can't go wrong, really. Multi compound grips is obviously the pit that I was looking for um, uh, because anyone that spends a bit of money on their grips, um, again, I can't believe these were going to be put in the ground. Um, but obviously, you're looking at like £30 for that grip, £30 for that grip, £24.99 for that grip, £8 each for that grip. Obviously, they've been worn, don't get me wrong. But at some point, this person wanted to invest in their clubs. We have a nice little wedge here. Um, CG15 um, in really good condition as well. 
And the funniest thing I find about wedges is that because everything is conforming um, uh, and the amateur golfer can't really hit a wedge that well, you're not going to see that much difference as long as the face is good and the face is good in this. So Cleveland wedge here, um, uh, relatively old school, but it's still going to do a great job and um, uh, someone will have that for £30. Do you know what I mean? Or £35 including delivery. Let's get on to the putters. A lot of you might not even know what yes is. Um, uh, these used to, when I started golf back in, I don't know, 20 or oh, a long time ago, let's say 10 years ago, yes putters were like the odyssey of the game. Everyone wanted a yes putter. Um, uh, and sadly, obviously that didn't continue, um, uh, but they did make phenomenally good putters. And this is a very good, well face balanced putter, which would have been worth quite a bit of money um, uh, when these clubs, again, when these were probably all bought, so we're probably going about 12 years ago now, I'd say something like that. Um, uh, it would have been worth quite a bit of money. Have no idea. I'll probably do some research on eBay to see if I can find what brand or make of this putter. It is very interesting face. Uh, looks like it was designed in the States, as you can see there, um, USA on the hill. And on the bottom, Fisher Touch Radial Traction Insert US Patent. So again, I imagine that was in its day, and there's probably some people screaming at the video right now going, Simon, that's the best putter I've ever had in a life. And that's why I love putters. It really doesn't matter. You, you could have a wooden putter and it's the best thing because you've got so much confidence in it and putting is all down to confidence. If you stand over that bad boy and think nothing but cup, guess what? It's going in the cup. Now this one does have a yes putter head cover. So I'm guessing by the, I mean, the, don't get me wrong, the putter head covers seem better days. It grips in great condition. Obviously, you didn't like the putter because it looks like it's hardly been used. And I imagine if it's the same age as the putter, the grip itself is 10 years old. So these probably been stored away. And it is another yes putter. Oh, I actually thought it was going to be one of my yes putters. I had a Cali um, as my first putter, by the way. Um, uh, yes, I think actually one of my mates, Mark, donated it to me. Oh, the face is in great nick. Look, it's almost got like that Tuscan paint. Do you know what I mean? That pearlescent paint that moves in the um, light or if it's raining. That looks phenomenal. I can't believe it. Look, and again, as I said, guys, this was supposed to go in the tip. Do you know what I mean? And um, uh, the gentleman that sold them to me goes, no, 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 let's try and get some money for them. Let's put them on Facebook. And obviously, um, I've given the gentleman um, uh, Forty pounds for the lot, but I'm so glad that obviously these weren't in um, uh, in the landfill, and it, may, it goes to show how much stuff is probably being thrown away year on year. And then last, actually, I don't think this is a putter because it hasn't got a putter grip. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure. Trilogy, oh John Letters, Demon Chipper. Oh wow, is that nice? I thought that was a hybrid for a minute. That's a chipper around the green, isn't it? Interesting. Not sure who would have that, but um, uh, again, glad it's not in the ground. So we're gonna go through some deals now that I haven't actually been able to show you. I do film a lot of deals, especially the intros. Like when I go to a place and I film on the street, I do all of that. I do all of that because obviously it gives you a bit of like a storyline of where I've gone to, as well as the clubs at first person reaction, all that kind of stuff. Um, but a lot of the times I then just sell the club because A, I need the money back. Um, uh, or um, I have another video that pops up I'm more excited about and it gets left to the wayside and then I fall, up, fall out of love of the idea of the video anyway. Great one for example, I actually went down to Limington again, that's exactly where I got that um, uh, waterproof jacket. Um, Gemma was selling essentially all these golf clubs, they were her sons um, uh, and obviously it said in the description as well when I like read it now, it would obviously be great for a junior. I didn't actually realise at the time obviously all the clubs have been cut down. So every single club there, for example, had been cut down by probably like a couple of inches, something like that. Um, actually, a member of the channel that buys and sells clubs as well, um, he bought quite a good majority off this because it was just too time consuming. But £225, I thought, for the whole deal. As you can see here, um, bag, two trolley, one electric trolley with a lithium battery. We've got amp cell, we've got woods, we've got drivers, hybrids, um, obviously some decent irons, woods. Oh, I thought it was a good deal. But then obviously once it turned out to be junior length, the whole idea of the video, I think, was buying like a full set of clubs as well for like a beginner um, and how it can be done again as you can see the putters there but they were all cut down again to like 31 inches 30 inches so it was still a good deal but it didn't fit with the video idea so I just decided to obviously um, leave that one out 
Another set that I picked up recently, which I'll show you, is this full set of Ping G2s. This was actually supposed to be coming out on Monday, but then everything happened with Rick's video and the podcast and everything else, so I kind of put that to the wayside. And I sold the irons all together. £100, G2 driver, um, uh, woods, irons, putter. There was a DFX putter, which I've actually sold. Again, I'm not afraid to show you. Obviously, I bought it for all for £100. Um, uh, the putter went for, I think, like £64. And that's really, they're quite rare putters, and it is in phenomenal condition. Um, uh, uh, as well as the irons themselves they went this week I think for about 160 uh, pounds something like that and again they're just the whole again point of that video is ping irons haven't changed like again even if you bought that full set for 200 pounds um, uh, you're getting the forgiveness you're getting the distance that you're required from these forgiving G2 irons as well as the driver okay the wood I don't know if you see a picture of the wood but um yeah, the wood, the uh, G2 wood, that's changed a bit. Don't get me wrong. Um, that's a bit out there. But overall, the whole bag was um, uh, class. I actually still have the Ping G2 2 iron, which is essentially just like a driving iron. So potentially I might do a video on that. But again, that's another deal or an idea of a deal that was supposed to be on the channel as one of the videos. But again, didn't quite make it because... I just keep selling stuff. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I say, the good deals, don't get me wrong, the ones that I see, I normally leave for the flipping series anyway. So you do see a lot of those, but the day and day stuff, obviously if I can pick up a set of 100 quick clubs and sell it for 200, um, well, that's decent money. It saves me doing a Hermes round. Um, uh, so they're the ones that are kind of, if I can't think of an exceptional idea for a video, they very rarely make it into the channel. That 40 quid, however, definitely would make it onto the channel. Guys, if you like this video, leave it a like. Subscribe if you are new. Catch you guys later.